Hello there, welcome to another tutorial from tipsquirrel.com. In this movie we'll be looking at multiple views for one image. Now let's have a look to see why that might be useful. I'm working on this image called Couple and as you can see it needs a little bit of work doing to it, not least of all the crack that runs down across the couple's feet. So I'm going to zoom in and very quickly just work on the gentleman's legs here. So I'm just going to grab the uh, clone stamp tool I hesitate, my apologies, I because I, I call it the stone clamp tool when I'm in a silly mood and it catches me out now because I call it it all the time. Okay, so I'm going to use the clone stamp tool just to do a quick jobby on that. Okay, let's go in there a bit and in there. And there we go. All right, that's looking okay, but we really need to check it. And to do so, we need to zoom out and then zoom back in again to do some more work because I did notice there was some needed to be done. Okay, that looks a bit better. Zoom back out again. No, nope, it's a big black splodge. Move back in again. And so it goes on and so it goes on and we end up pulling our hair out because we're forever going zooming in and zooming back out again. Okay, so let's work out how to change that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw away the layer we've been working on and work on a clean layer. We're all back to the beginning. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Window, Arrange, New Window 4, and in this case it's called Couple, PSD, so New Window 4, and click on that, and you see that a new window appears. Now I do have two windows, Couples and uh, Couple and Couple, one at 30, 386% zoom level, and one at 33 and a third. 33 and a third is the one that's on top at the moment, so let's uh, go Window, Arrange, and tile vertically and it's going to pop them one next to the other and there's our two images. Now I say two images but in fact they're not, they're the same image, excuse me, they're the same image they're just at different zoom levels. Now I can prove that by zooming into that gentleman's legs again and if I start again with the clone stamp tool oh I'm working on the background layer Try again, okay. And now, while I've got the mouse pressed down and I'm working, nothing changes on the right hand side. But as soon as I release the mouse button, it's updating itself in real time, which is very, very helpful. Okay, so I can just keep going and going and going. Let's zoom in a bit further and move along. I'm just using the space bar to uh, change to the, to the hand tool, and I can quickly go right through that. And you can see on the right hand side exactly what's going on every step of the way. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, but let's have a look at another way to do it. I'm just going to click on close on that one and bring out the navigator panel. And if I drop that down there and then use the corner handle and bring it right the way down. And I'm back to having another image. The difference between this one and the last one now is that I can use it to navigate with, as the name suggests. And I've got this red box around where I'm working, which is quite helpful because when you're working quite detailed, you sometimes get a bit lost as to where you're working. This red box it shows you. You can also grab hold of the red box and move it across. And let's have a look at doing uh, something with the shed here. So I hold click again just to get uh, the clone stamp tool. And there we go, and straight away I can see on the right hand image that it's a pretty good job. I'm happy with that. Okay, grab hold of the red box, move it up, and I can see that I've got a bit of confetti perhaps on here, but it might be damaged. I'm not sure either way, but I'm going to get rid of the three dots here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to make the uh, clone stamp tool a bit smaller, and then Alt and Let's uh, change that. Okay. Looking good. I can see on the left hand image it looks good. I can see on the right hand image it looks good. However, I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to hedge my bets that it's not as good as I thought it was. And surely not. I've got this nasty mark down here where I did some uh, stamping because it's got lines on his jacket um, running slightly diagonally. Um, any cloning that I do is going to look a bit messy but going zooming in I couldn't see it and also on the right hand navigator panel I couldn't see it because I was too far out so that's when I'm just going to pop the navigator palette 
back away again put it where it needs to be okay and then if I go window uh, arrange new window for and then I'm just going to pop that where it's supposed to be okay so now use the, with the right hand window active I can use the navigator panel just to zoom in a little bit um, let's go 200% and whilst I'm working on the left hand image at 1200% I can have the right hand image at 200% and see that I've got that line going and that's not going to do at all I'm going to have to try and find a different way of working which uh, I could use the uh, patch tool or the uh, a number of other another uh, number of tools the healing brush perhaps I don't know patch tool spot healing uh, any number of tools but not the clone stamp in this particular instance because of the pattern going across um, I could of course um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have people sending me Twitters saying well you can do if you keep the same angle yes I know um, but that's not the point of this exercise um, the point is that I can see the damage here that uh, I've caused to this image whereas I couldn't on the original one that I was working on nor in the navigation panel so it's horses for courses really if you've got the room and you've got another monitor then I would suggest using two monitors and popping the uh, zoomed out image on there or the navigation panel onto another monitor you could put both onto another monitor of course although word of caution starts getting a bit confusing because you forget which one you you've got active and you start zooming into the wrong one and it's it can get a bit nasty but anyway there we go two ways of having multiple views of the same image right here in Photoshop